It's a beautiful day for pickleball on the APP Tour. Thanks for joining us back here at Delray Beach. A beautiful afternoon here in the Sunshine State. And my goodness, have we had some fantastic pickleball here on Championship Court. Men's doubles gold medal match. Game one goes the way of Andre Diescu and Gabriel Tati Tardio. But it was hard fought, you guys. I mean, absolutely incredible. Match should have been over a while ago, but <laughs> it took forever because these teams just wouldn't give in. It was patience, it was waiting for the right opportunity to attack, but then in the end, Deescu and Tardio coming out on top 13-11 in an epic game one battle. I mean, how about that get right there from Dylan Frazier? But yeah, they were pots in there that each team kind of tried to fuel their egos a little bit, saying, hey, I can attack better than you, my hands are better than you, and they both kind of got away from the game plan. They dialed it back in, and we saw prolonged points. And so now it's up to Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson to answer here in this game two. If they want to force a decisive game three to decide who wins the men's doubles gold medal match. Game two. from Tardio just loves it a tiny bit deep. I don't mind it. It Not wasn't at all. bad. Push him back away from the kitchen line. Yeah, yeah I was about to say the same thing, Andre. <laughs> Tyesk was saying, oh my gosh, after that hit. I can't believe they missed it into the net. All over it, just cut off the swing. Nice spot there from Gabe Tardio, right at the feet of J.W. Johnson. Johnson now with the serve. Diascu leaving that dink short and two nothing two nothing start here for Frazier and Johnson. Frazier started it. Frazier wanted to finish it right there. Getting up for the overhead winner. Well, he tried to go for his typical one-two combo to Deescu, but Deescu's getting smarter on it. He slid to open himself up and clear, and he got the next one back, but couldn't really do much with it. So Johnson keeping the pressure on Deescu in that firefight. Gives him and his partner a 4 nothing lead here in game two. Uh, not not a bad shot right there. No, not a bad move, I should say. Was it a bad shot? Yes, he <laughs> overran it a little bit, went wide. But they're trying to step up the tempo right now, put the pressure on. They're not you're allowing Diescu and Tadio to dictate as much of the pace. Oh. What some impressive resets in the middle of that point, but Frazier getting the final say. That backhand slap in the middle of that from J.W. Johnson, just all wrist. 
the strength. How incredible. speed up there from Frazier and Diescu more than ready for it yeah you see yeah. Johnson and, and Frazier talking to each other right there Johnson's like yes go there again I'll be ready for it he was just a little off balance on that speed up and that return goes a little deep there from Frazier from Tardio and then Diascu getting big for the overhead finish. Well, Tardio tried to call Diascu off that, but Diascu was already full <laughs> back swing. He, the, the no came after he had actually made contact. <laughs> Chance to tie things up here for Diascu well, and Tardio, and they returns. do. Two missed returns from Frazier. You see Frazier after that, he looks up and around. He's looking for the wind. I think he thinks there's some wind behind him right now. Ready for the around the post and the cross court. Tardio can't get there With in time. Extra sauce. We saw this the exact spin. Sheesh. Eric Lang in Sacramento did the exact oh. Millie same Rain thing. as well Millie and women. Rain as well. Unreal. We've seen that three times this year. The ATV defense winner cross court. Diescu kind of slapping at that ball, sails deep. So it'll be a lead here for Frazier and Johnson. Ending a 4 nothing run that Diascu and Tardio had put together. Tardio, yeah, Tardio just tried to rush that one. Reaching in, quick flick. Really wasn't there. That's an incredible counter from Andre Deescu right there. He punishes that fourth shot back. 6-4-2 for Johnson serve. a good spot. Fiesco letting that one go, but it just paints the baseline and extends this lead. Yeah, rolling that cross court, well, so I should say cross body, not cross court. Frazier makes it look like he's going to go down the line. So a timeout called here on the court by Diescu and Tardio. They trail by three here in this second game after taking a hard-fought first one, 13 to 11. What do you like about the timing of this time timeout, Dom? Well, again, you're trying to slow the momentum. It was a 4-0 run for Frazier and Johnson to start. Diascu and Tardio answer with a 4-0 run of their own. Now you have Frazier and Johnson with all that momentum back on their side. You're trying to just slow them down right now and, and, and kind of take something away from them as, you know, getting some advice in their corner are Tardio and Diascu, Alex. Pop Mondovan over there. You Known Alex was Andre's. Partner original partner when they came into the game. 
And Alex went away, moved to New York, worked with the USTA for a while, then moved back to Florida, and now he helps Andre train and practice a lot now. A very knowledgeable guy in his corner as much as he can be is Alex, and one of the best guys out there too. Uh oh, battery's going in. Where's the Derek Prince's microphone right there? He's been out there a while for this match. <laughs> <laughs> Losing battery. Well, we are going on an hour. So out of the timeout, quick side out for Diascu and now Tardio with the serve. Right at the shoelaces of Johnson. Can't get that ball up and over the net again. Fired up Diascu. Oh, good read. Oh. Great hey. get there by Tardio, but then right in between them. No, I mean, that's a fantastic read by Tardio here. Going with the angle, but not able to get back into the court. Diasco not able to get over either. That's not something you say very often. Wow, well, when a ball's being hit that hard. <laughs> yeah. They ask you trying to go line there with that counter. It was open, but into the net. Resets Steve. in the middle of that point. Johnson was fully elevated, full backswing, both feet off the ground. That's because, like, nah, I'll just block it back. No worries. excitement after getting yeah. that point. Roar, growl. That no, reset. I, that, yeah. I'm throwing my hands up in the middle of that point because it's like, <laughs> what do you have to do to win a point around here? right there, right at the backhands of J.W. Johnson. Is he just sitting slap, slap? Well, I'm okay if Tadio speeds that up into the right hip even. Great placement kind of there, Frazier down the line. Johnson's now going to slap that cross court. But going at the left hip, tough one. So a side out here, no points added for Diascu and Tadio. On it right there. They asked we read it well. I think he took just a little too big of a backswing. <laughs> J 
JW took a full swing. Yep. <laughs> Missed. Frazier resets it. JW not helped out by the net and Tardio there to take advantage of the pop up. No, it's an easy finish there for Tardio as JW tries to steal or speed that up right at Gabe Tardio. Tardio having none of it off the tape. Out of the way does Diascu get, and so it'll be a point here for Diascu and Tardio. Well, the reason that's a good speed up is because he gets on top of that and gets it low. He knows that if Frazier tries to counter it, it's going to go long. He gets out of the way, and it does. Another great around the post defense from Frazier to keep him in that point, then JW putting it away. I mean, Don, we always talk about it like three years ago, four years ago. Around the post was a winner. Yeah, every time. But it started to become more common, but it was around the winner. Now, it's your only option, and, and half the time, three quarters of the time, it comes back. Nice one-two combo from J.W. Johnson. Again, knowing the block's going to come back even higher and then punishes that. But, Chad, to hit on your point, yeah, it used to be, you know, back in the day when we played, the ATP was a winner. Oh, my gosh. So when I got one back, I was like, it was ecstatic. a miracle. Now it comes back all the time. We've seen some great displays of that even just today across the matches that we've had here at the APP Blastic Classic Delray Beach. Fraser and Johnson trying to extend their lead here in our men's doubles gold medal match. There from JW painting the baseline. Yeah, that's a good roll and a good spot there from JW. Goes crossbody on Tadio. Diascu can't catch up to it either. Nice spot there from Dylan Frazier going at that right hip of Andre Deescu, jamming him up just enough. Enough that it sets up a game point opportunity here for Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson. 10-6, they lead Deescu and Tardio, who took a hard fought game one. Frazier and Johnson trying to make sure that they push this thing to three. Yeah, and uh, again, it's a great job from J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier, again, they've put a lot of pressure on. They jumped out of the gate with that 4-0 lead. It was all about pressure. Got a little X, Dave's cool in the middle. Allowed Deescu and Tardio to tie it up and get back in it. But right now, they're the ones initiating. It seems like ever since they start the initiation, they're coming out on top most of the time with those. So a good game plan going into this second game, trying to force the third game. And the interesting thing is when you were talking with Andre, yesterday in another after another match he was talking about how he's super aware that pickleball is a game of runs and you just have to weather that storm so it's not like Diasco and Tardio are getting thrown off by the runs right. but it's actually the play of Johnson and Frazier play 
like that. Johnson right at the feet of Tardio to finish this second game off. 11 to 6. Frazier, Johnson take game two. So to a third, we head to decide who wins our men's doubles gold medal match. We'll find out after game three when we come back to Delray Beach. My name is Chef Jamoke Jackson. I'm here with Vlasic Pickles, and I'm putting the pickle back in pickleball. In pickleball, a chop is a slice from high to low to put a backspin on the pickleball. I'm chopping up Vlasic Pickles to make this sweet and savory chopped pickle salad. Feta cheese, Kalamata olives, olive oil, red wine vinegar, lemon juice, sugar, black pepper, toss the mix. Sweet, heat, and full of flavor. 18 years from tonight, Grant Gill will become a legend when he totally kills it at his improv class's graduation performance. Knees will be slapped, suds will be sprayed. People won't know what hurts more, their cheeks or their sides. That's why he's already keeping himself in shape and razor sharp today with health tips and wellness tools from AARP to help make sure his health lives as long as he does. Because the younger you are, the more you need AARP. Sponsored by Vlasic Pickles, official pickle of the APP Tour. AARP, helping your health and happiness live as long as you do. And Rainstorm, clean, plant-based energy. Welcome back to Delray Beach. Game two going the way of Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson. Well, they just brought the pressure from the beginning and did not let up. Well, maybe a little bit at the beginning they let up to let them back in. But a great job from J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier making an adjustment. Yeah, and that's what we didn't see from them in game one. And they need to continue it here in game three. Three. Worth noting game here, the time in Delray Beach, just about 7.30, and the sun has gone all the way behind the bleachers here on Championship Court. And the weather is lovely right now. It's quite pleasant, <laughs> but more importantly, no more shadows on the court, which we saw in that last highlight package of Game 2. We are now officially under the lights. Ugh, we love it on a Saturday night. Oh, just just out. That. Yeah. <laughs> Tasco had Frazier all turned around right there. One, zero, two. <laughs> and a good attack there from Diascu. A little stare One, down. Two. A little stare down from Diascu. Hey, you know. These Europeans are sometimes scary. Okay, most of the time. Yeah, scary. when he gets mad, <laughs> I don't want to meet Andre in a dark alley. Zero one two, two Diascu, with oh, the serve. He's just a big teddy bear. Oh, oh that's that's what Tadio needs to reel himself in a little bit. We we we're still seeing flashes of what you called the old Gabe Tadio, oh, yeah. and what we, what we meant by that is. Yo, just a little too loose with some of the shots. One, 
Well, and Chad, you were there for his first pickleball tournament in 2020. Yeah. Your event in Tampa. That was. It was a Florida Grand Slam in Tampa, Florida. Simone and I used to run. String bean of a kid with glasses came out, played in the tournament. Everybody's like, what is this? And then by the end of it, they're like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> now here he is playing a men's doubles gold medal match, keeping his foot off the line, forehand extended for the winner. Well, great reach right there from Tardio, using every inch of that length to reach in. He goes full flamingo, one leg to reach in and take that. Diasco flipping that right into the perfect spot on Frazier. Can't get his paddle on it. Yeah, that's a good spot there from Diasco, hitting it into the, the movement, the slide of Frazier. That time, J.W. J. Johnson finds a spot behind Tardio. Slap, <laughs> slap, There's just arms and paddles and everything going all over the place. Every right which way. Uh, another quick flip. From Johnson into the body of Diascu. And again, it's the right spot. It's at that right hip. Jam up Diascu just enough. The adjustment Diascu makes right there. He knows the speed up's coming. He jumps and hops back about two feet off the kitchen line right there. Creates some space for his counter. Ten. Leave there from Diascu, but Frazier put enough shape on that ball for it to drop inside the baseline. Well, and he also didn't hit it too hard right there. I think Frazier thought it was going a lot harder than it actually was. Leaving that ding just a little bit short, so it'll be a point for Frazier and Johnson. Well, and here's the difference, too. As the weather and it gets later and it gets a little cooler, what happens, too, is these guys made it through a draw in the middle of the day when it was very hot. Yeah. The ball was much softer. Now as it cools down, the ball's going to get harder and it's going to play even a lot faster. So this is another adjustment these guys have to make throughout this match. Nice adjustment there, Johnson, finding a great spot down the middle. Oh, that's a bait ball right there. Is you see J.W. Johnson slide to the backhand, open up that backhand, and he knows where Tardio's going. He just slaps that back through the middle. So a timeout called on the court. Dietzku and Tardio trailing by three. Want a minute to try and slow the momentum that Johnson and Frazier have built up. Chad, what do you like about what the duo of Frazier and Johnson are doing here to keep Diasco and Tardio on their heels. Well, they're, they're the ones that are controlling the tempo, though. They're the ones that are, well, I'm watching, I'm watching the guy slap the LED board oh, off. <laughs> he put oh. it back in. Nope, oh. it's back out. Nope, it's back in. Nope, it, it's back out. It again. Oh, nope. dissipated in the blue. Uh. Nope, now it's back. Sorry. I'm getting, I'm, I'm like a, I'm like a cat with a, <laughs> with a thing going back around. Um, but no, we saw it in game two where Frazier and Johnson came out and put a little bit more pressure on. They set the tempo. They didn't, well, they let up a little bit, but, but for the most part, they didn't let up. And that's what they've done here in, in game three. Do I ask you, Antonio, yes, they need to counter. They kind of have to absorb some of these shots as well. But at the same time, they can't try to do too much. So out of the timeout, a quick side out for Diascu and Tardio. Andre with the serve. Oh, nice job by Frazier getting on top of that ball. Again, it's at the feet of Gabe Tardio.
well placed ball there, right around the knees of Frazier. Yeah, again, a tough speed up spot from J.W. Johnson. Ball stayed low, didn't really come up to him. Two four two. Two four two. Score for Tardio serve. That flip by oh, Dylan that Frazier is. just paints the sideline. Oh. Well, he sells it to with his body. Yeah. Watch him take his body to the middle and just goes right down that line. It wasn't as much as I thought it was, but again, from here, it looked like it was, but he still is moving to the middle and then goes down that line. Yeah, from here, I didn't think we were going to see any blue between the sideline and that pickleball, but well inside. Four, two, two. A little firefight until J.W. Johnson gets on top of one. I mean, <laughs> rapid fire. Wham, wham, wham. And one, two, three. <laughs> Want to talk about short and compact? That's it right there. Up off the net into the body of Gabe Tardio. Yeah, nothing he can do right there. Again, Johnson speeds up right at him. Tardio tries to get out of the way, but off the net, off his body. Check a replay here. As that ball probably would have sailed long, but can't get out of the way. And it's a 6 2 lead on the end change here in game three for Frazier and Johnson. So Frazier and Johnson carrying the momentum that they started building in game two into game three here. What do you think is the most effective thing that they're doing to keep Diascu and Tardio off balance? Well, not only are they being aggressive, but they're hitting the right spots. And, and we, we talked about it at the beginning of this one, is that Johnson and Frazier have a really good ability of making adjustments quickly. Now, in game one, Diascu and Tardio were able to make the adjustments just as fast. Right now, Fraser and Johnson are able to move it around, hit the spots that they need to with, at the same time, keeping Diascu and Tardio off balance. And they really haven't been able to find anything to the feet of, of Fraser or Johnson. So it's a 6-2 lead here for Frazier and Johnson. There's some conversation here, a little referee timeout to deal with something happening on the court. So while we wait for them to figure things out, let's talk a little bit about just the momentum swings here into game three, Don. Well, yeah, I mean, right now, all the momentum on the side of Frazier and Johnson is they have the 6-2 lead on the end change. We'll see if the ends have anything to do with it as we resume play right here. So no big delay. 6-2-2. JW with the serve. There's a nice hand battle one from Andre Deascu. See if this gives them a little bit of that big mo we talk about, that being momentum on their side. Momentum and the ball. Tardio with the serve. Oh, and again, Dylan Frazier just hitting his spot so well. Like a good pitcher like Chad Edwards was, just hitting his spots. <laughs> that was also a guy that would brush it up in the post pitch to open up the outside. So you, you were like the match prior to this where it was uh, 
Georgia Johnson going at the head yeah, of yeah, Joe yeah. Braverman. Yeah, I'd throw one at the chin and then paint, paint the outside. That's it. That's how you do it. It's, it's a way to do it. That's a better spot there from Dayasku. And it, he didn't hit it too hard either. That's a 50% speed up where it doesn't get on, on Johnson fast enough. Tardio misses that ball deep. So it will be a side out, but a good job out of the timeout for Diascu and Tardio. Get a few points on the board. Cut this lead to two. Andre Diascu cut it out. Diascu. Defense. But again, turning that defense into offense, you see him on that front foot on the backhand counter. Oh, and then J.W. Johnson trying to be perfect with the drop. Instead, it's a side out here. Gabe Tardio with the serve. That time Johnson getting the ball down at the feet of Tardio. Past him. So it'll be on to their second serve for Diascu and Tardio. Another look. Yeah, that ball not coming back. Tardio getting out of the way of that one. Great forehand there from Johnson. Good spot right there, Dylan Frazier pulling. Gave Tardio wide with that. Tardio just not moving his feet enough. Get around that dink. Oh, nice spot. Again, Diascu, when he puts that second hand on the paddle, you know it's gonna be a speed up, but this one he hides well. Going at it. Getting big, refusing to back down. And a very pro Tardio Deescu crowd here under the lights tonight at the Delray Beach Tennis Center. Oh, it was a good read from Tardio. He had the counter and then reads this. What's the wrist right here? Snap straight down. Yep. And he knows it. It was the right read. Good move from the youngster. Ooh, he's on that last one, but he's out front of it actually and pulls it wide. So a timeout called a here by timeout. Frazier and Johnson. We've been sitting at 6-4 for quite a few service sides here. Deadlocked in game number three. It's like there's a gold medal on the line or something. Frazier and Johnson going to get the ball back on their side, up by two. How do they get off of six and get a seventh point? Well, I mean, again, right now, I like the offensive timeout. You don't get that much from... Frazier and Johnson, almost a sign of respect for Deescu and Tardio and what they're doing, but I think they just want to discuss what's going on right now. What do we need to do? Because haven't scored since the end change. They scored all six on the other side of the court. Haven't scored one on this side. But again, it's been good pressure from Deescu and Tardio as they've kind of picked up their pace as well, Ted. Yeah, I mean... I like the movement from Tadio right now. I just feel like he's doing just a little too much. Diescu is dialed in, but if it, anybody can kind of reel Tadio in, 
and put him on the right track. It's Diascu. Nice spot right there, right to the feet of Frazier. And oh. that's a good ball as well. Feeling the pressure to ask you coming on the Ernie. Yeah. So the oh, offensive timeout ball. not used effectively enough for, Tar for Frazier and Johnson. This is the side out here for Diasco and Tardio. And the backhand just a little too big there from Diasco into the net. Yeah, shoulders just came up a little too much on that one. there from Johnson at the feet of Tardio. I don't see it very often, but when he does, that was pretty. Now they look at this one. goodness it may not look like much in those dinking rallies right but it's the movement the footwork we saw both sides throwing out the fake Ernie's coming back in and then we get the miscommunication there in the middle Fourth and then Frazier off the edge guard and long. What a way to win a service side there, win that hands battle. And now, just like that, Tardio and Diescu get the ball back on their side of the net. When we first started this match, I felt like I was also holding my breath for some of those dinking rallies because yeah. you just don't know when it's going to end and it's so tense, you can feel it here in the stadium and then I quickly realized if I held my breath for the entire rally, I, I would be passing out because that's how long <laughs> those goes, right? Like I, I'm, I'm but, a surfer, I can hold my breath for a no, minute. No, 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 but that, that, that is actually a thing, right? So a lot, of, mm -hmm. a lot of people that we've worked with over the years, yes. they will hold their yeah. breath because they are uh, you know, so, so tense mm -hmm. or, or, or riding it through and then they get done with a point and they're exhausted or they bail out because they're so tired they have to speed the ball up just to try to end the point because they can't go any longer.
And just to expand on that, Chad, you talk about it. We talk with everybody watching at home is when you're holding your breath too, what happens to your muscles? They tighten up, right? So the more you hold your breath, the more tense you get. And then what's going to happen when you hit a ball? You're going to pop it up, mm -hmm. right? Because you're tense, because everything's held in. And so you see that later in dinking rallies, especially on the amateur level when they don't know to breathe. Man on a mission. Again, wow. almost duplicated the spot right there from J.W. Johnson on Andre Diascu. Slides it into the middle right on that right side. Jams up the backhand. 7-4-1. J.W. Johnson with the serve. Yeah, rolls it in again. That's fourth time Frazier's done that mid-pace speed up where it looks like it's elevated. You let it go, it lands a foot in. That's just Beautiful. too good right there. And, and to be able to control that and not hit that out, that's the toughest thing right there is everyone can hit that, but when you do, it's all about control. I want to hit that at about 50% because it's all about the shock factor. You don't think your opponent's going to pull the trigger there, but they do, and they keep it in because they didn't hit it 100%. So an 8-4 lead here in game number three of our men's doubles gold medal match. And everything on the line for these guys, they're certainly playing, playing like it. As we see these points stay extended, everybody staying patient, waiting for the perfect opportunity for them to execute their game plan. What an 8 4 lead here for Dylan Frazier, JW Johnson, looking to be in control here in game number three. 8 4 1, score for Johnson serve. Well, he was on it. Good cover there from Daescu. Actually, didn't come back to the middle as hard, so got the forehand this time instead of being jammed up on the backhand side. Great flip there by J.W. Johnson just past the swinging paddle. Of Tardio. Well, he went right inside between the paddle and the hip. He goes to the right spot. It's a perfect shot there from J.W. Johnson to finish it. And this is where Frazier and Johnson are dangerous when they get a lead too, right? Because now they're going to take some more chances on their serve too, like they did right there, but that was a great counter from Andre Dascu. But Dascu and Tardio not to be counted out here. So it's a 5-9-1 score for Tardio. Make it six. So just like that, it had been 6-4 for the longest time with Frazier and Johnson in the lead. Ayescu and Tardio, though, putting together a little bit of a run. Have to get closer here. And they do. <laughs> the key on that one, too. Yeah, instantly. Time out. Time out. Time out. A key on that one right there, that point. Tardio hit a drop. He knew it was good off his paddle. Yeah. He told Daesh to go because he knew he hit a perfect drop. They went. Daesh to up at the kitchen line. Counter, counter, winner. And all of a sudden, it's a game here again. And just like that, what was a five-point lead has dwindled down to just two. 
Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson have controlled this entire third game here. But part of the reason they have been able to do that is because strategically they also understand how much they have to respect Diescu and Tardio. An example there with a timeout called. Sorry, I'm watching the, the repairs over there. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> We're coming back in. Coming back in all the momentum here on the side of Gabe Tardio. And Andre Deescu is there back within two. Again, it looked like all the momentum with Frazier and Johnson, but Deescu and Tardio making this an interesting third game. Andre Deescu has more APP gold medals than anyone else from 2023. It's still early in 2024, but you know he wants to make that. A back-to-back -back title. It's going to be important for him and Tardio to get the win here, continue this oh, momentum out of the timeout. And that's a good adjustment there from Johnson. He got caught a couple of times on that forehand side. He was standing up, got a little close to the body. This time he gets over, gets that contact point out in front, gets it down to the feet. Got jammed up enough. Beautiful pressure dink from J.W. Johnson cross court. So a successful usage of the timeout so far, getting themselves the side out. Johnson and Frazier now two points away from taking home men's doubles gold medal. Can they finish it off on this service side? Nope. Not if Diescu has anything to say about that. Diescu will not back <laughs> down. That is not in his vocabulary. Oh, short. A little tight right there on the third from Dylan Frazier. Diasco and Tardio, just the definition of never back down, never give up right now. They have been fighting. Never for what? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> well done, though. I'm impressed with you. Such a good adjustment there, but Diascu is feeling it right now. He's going to continue putting the pressure on. He wants the ball right now. He wants every ball. The patience, the poise shown by both those teams, and then Frazier, Johnson, finish it off. I mean, both sides with, 
with the gets to keep him in the point. Diascu Johnson. That was <sighs> I'm tired. Easily I'm tired watching it. Eighty to Gotta 90. remember to breathe. I wasn't. <laughs> I'm out of breath. That's why you're all red. <laughs> Another chance here to tie things up for Diascu and Tardio, but Tardio can't get the shape on that around the post. So instead, it's a side out. That's just very ambitious right there. You just got to stay within, stay in the point. Don't try and do too much. Don't make that or want to try and make that hero shot. Yeah, good spot there from Diascu. Johnson tried to step up, speed that one up, but Diascu already gotten it down toward the feet. Takes that mid shin. Sets in there from Frazier and Johnson weathering the storm of Diascu. Well, Diascu took the first ball and then he tried to clear himself because that ball was past him. Tardio thought he was going to take that. And so now we have a championship point opportunity here for Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson as they try to put this match away. J.W. Johnson, Dylan Frazier showing so much poise and unreal finish to a fantastic men's pro doubles gold medal match. Frazier, Johnson are your men's doubles gold medalists from here in Delray Beach. We'll hear how they got it done on the other side of this break. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. A typical insurance? You're just another senior. That is the third health insurance commercial with seniors at a farmer's market. Right? Don't get me wrong, I love a fresh heirloom, but it's like those companies think we're all the same. That's why I chose Humana. Before I signed up, I spoke to someone who actually listened to what I needed. She told me about benefits that were right for me, like vision and dental, all in my budget. I finally feel in control. What are you doing? Taking control. <laughs> Humana, a more human way to health care. J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier, Chad, get it done in game three. Well, they made the adjustment in game two as far as taking the initiative to be the aggressors, to speed it up, to really put the pressure on Diascu and Tadio. And you know what? It worked out. We're going to throw it down to A.J. McCord, who's courtside with our Franklin post-match interview. 
Well, you guys, we were joking that we were pretty tired just watching the dinking rallies, the patience, the poise that you two showed to earn this gold medal. Walk me through the game plan against this other team. Uh, yeah, got to give them a shout out. That match could have gone either way. Um, Andre and Gabe are just such great competitors. Gabe, I'm really impressed with this play at such a young age to be as disciplined as he is and make great decisions all the time. And Andre's just going to stay until the last minute. There's no breathing room with him. Even if we're up 9-4 in the third game, they're going to fight till the very end. Um, looking forward to playing with that guy. We're on the same Major League Pickleball team. Let's go AZ, AZ Drive. Um, but for now, I've got to celebrate this one with J-Dub. Thanks to Ken and the APP for putting on another great tournament. It was really good. Um, happy to be here, and it was a great tournament. So much fun to watch you guys play all three of those games. JW, how did you guys pick your spots, pick your moments to pull away? Yeah, we had to be careful because they have uh, great hands. They like to play really aggressive. Um, but eventually we started had to play a little more aggressive because we, we were playing a little more tentative at first. And then once we started playing more aggressive, we were doing better. Understandably so. Congratulations to you two, your men's doubles gold medalist here at the APP Vlasic Classic, Delray Beach. I'll send it back to you in the booth, Chad and Dom. Well, congratulations. Dylan Frazier, J.W. Johnson coming out on top, your men's doubles gold medalist. Chad, they were just, they were, they were incredible. They fought adversity, losing that first one in a heartbreaker 13 11, but bouncing back in games two and three. Well, just like. JW and, and Dylan said that this match could have gone either way. But what they adjusted, the biggest adjustment that they made was that they started to be more aggressive. They were tentative in game one. They needed to insert the speed, insert the pace, and really put the pressure on to be able to come out on top. So there you have it. Our two gold medalists decided today two sets of gold medalists decided today in women's doubles congratulations to megan fudge and jill braverman just saw dylan frazier and jw johnson get the the gold in men's doubles big day today you guys but we have another day tomorrow three well, more gold as, medal as you matches. can see by our screen it is very dark <laughs> uh since we we started uh nine hours ago yep, yep we did so you know thanks for being here the whole time we were here we love it. <laughs> Big full day of pickleball. Yeah. <laughs> Big full day of pickleball. And, Dom, tomorrow, three gold medal matches. Yeah, Still I mean, ahead. some incredible matches. You got the one versus two seed in singles in men's and women's. And then you have the mixed doubles. It's the two seed, Braverman and Dask, who, who were played here tonight, will be taking on Georgia Johnson and Gabe Tardio in that matchup. That's going to be a fun one. A lot of hands battles. And maybe a lot of talking in that one, too. So, you know, Georgia Johnson and Jill Braverman played a tough gold medal match against each other tonight. They'll go back at it again tomorrow. Looking forward to all three of those matches. You can join us for every single one of them, starting at noon on YouTube and then 2 o'clock over on CBS Sports Network. Today it was all about men's and women's doubles. We saw heart. We saw effort. We saw a little trash talk. We saw some authoritative finishes and a lot of that, some hardware heading home. Thanks so much for joining us here at the APP Vlasic Classic Delray Beach on this Saturday. Make sure to tune back in tomorrow morning, noon Eastern on YouTube. We've got three more gold medal matches to wrap up our weekend. For Dom, Chad, and myself, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you in the morning.